on my YouTube world. Today is the official review of the F210Z. Does this mower suck? Stay tuned. We're about to get it. Hello, my YouTube world. This is Johnny Mo coming to you with the official review of the F210Z. And I'm just going to straight out of the gate love the mower. Love the mower. I never thought I would like a fixed frame again, but I don't know what it is, what they did to this thing. It's just, it rides so smooth. That seat is more comfortable than the one that's on my 3200. That is a mid-back seat. I took the armrest off. And my 3200 Ferris has the high back. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal. I love the ride of this. I was not sore. I had no issues whatsoever. Man, I, I was just so blown away by this F210Z. The cut quality, obviously, is the ICD deck, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, I put my bagger system back on this mower. This is my backup mower. As you can see, the bagger system is on. And there's the bagging boot right there past the garbage can. That bagger system was used in the last two weeks to suck up clippings. That from the prune job. Remember that prune job I did? Well, on the side, it had bigger rock in it. So what I did is I blew out all the big stuff, and because it was big rock, it blew out really easy, and I sucked it up with that bagger system. Very quick, very easy. Did a great job, <clears throat> and also for my leaves. This will be on for leaves. So if something goes wrong with the 3200, this mower will be put in action, and I am fully confident of this mower's ability to be just as productive as the 3200Z. Now, I can't go as fast. I did notice that at the top speeds, being a fixed frame, it got a little bumpy. It got a little bumpy, whereas I could fly with the 3200Z. But some of the things that, that this thing, this thing is built like a tank. The, look at these steel beams. The, these are, I can't even believe this. This might be one of the best built mowers on the planet right now. Look at this thing. St huge, huge, huge beams. Great welding. Just phenomenal. I can't even believe this mower is built just to take abuse. This is just a, a mower that you give to your employee and say, go have fun. Because this thing ain't going nowhere. This thing is just built like a tank. Um, flat free fronts. ICD deck. Comfort chair. Absolutely awesome. And, and if you're buying a mower, guys, buy the comfort chair. Don't buy a piece of garbage mower and then get on YouTube and say it's uncomfortable, it doesn't work. Uh, don't buy a homeowner's model and expect it to do, you know, like I wouldn't buy a six or 700, you know, maybe the 700, but the 600, there's no way I'd, I would, it's too small, I couldn't even fit on it, and the seat's not right. This seat is just, it's just, I don't know why this is more comfortable, but check it out, this adds to it. See, they have these rubber things here that accept some of the abuse so this is the 28 EFI engine look at those big springs down there so you have two big springs that cushion that plus the ride of the suspension seat this mower is actually very comfortable and I didn't think it would be and I thought hey just it's a backup mower it's not a big deal uh, it can sit in here no big deal at all. Something else I love. This mower tracks very well. It stripes phenomenal. I did. I put a 20 second clip at one of the videos. At the end of one of the videos, I put a 20 second clip in last week, and this was the mower that did it. Look perfect. 24 inch tires, just enough overlap to stripe. This is phenomenal. This is the key. 24 inch tires, 61 inch deck. Just enough overhang, not too much overhang where you're, you're tr struggling coming back to find where the overhang is on that side. Just a phenomenal, I, I, I can't, guys, I can't say enough about this mower. I am fully impressed with the F210. The price point, phenomenal. 28 EFI. Uh, I got into some little thicker grass that I struggled just a little bit. It started throwing out clumps because it didn't have enough oomph. So it, it's, it's got enough torque and power, but you're going to have to slow way down in the real thick stuff. The real thick stuff, 
this just wants to pop clumps. But when I pulled the sticks back a little bit, I noticed it was able to shoot it out right, stop throwing those clumps. Oil guard system, we're going to get into that here in just a few minutes here. I just wanted to go over this deck, this mower, ICD deck. Love this deck. Love this mower. Look how easy. Look how far out that pedal is. I can ride that pedal with ease, man. Just eat. Just put your foot there. If you're going over a little, little bit of a dip and you don't want to scalp, just push that down. The deck is lighter. This deck is lighter than it is on the 3200. I don't know why that is. So the hours are at 26.2. On this particular one, it has an E for engine and a P for PTO is what I'm assuming. So let's go over here to the oil guard system. Guys, state of the art. Ferris, Briggs and Stratton. Just listen, guys. If you're not running a Ferris with this oil guard, you're just wasting time. Because how many times have you just gotten so busy and it's it's 115, it's 125 before you get to the oil change? Guys, this is 500 hours. 500 hours. Do you know how much money you're saving? Just by using this? This is basically this is basically an oil change a year, basically. Unless you're putting 500 hours, obviously you're going to put something on that. But once a year basic oil change, 500 hours. Now, two ways to think about this now. It's 500 hours or yearly. So if you're putting forward 450 hours on in a year, this is the way to go. If you're only putting like 150, 200, this might not be the way to go. But for the guys that are putting hours on their machines, this is just phenomenal. You have five quarts, two quarts in the engine. So it's recycling. It doesn't stay in the engine long. It's just recycled, recycled, recycled. The filter's right underneath here. Just boom, going through, going through. You got five quarts of oil. I think it's five quarts here. And six, I think it's, maybe it's seven quarts total. I'm not quite sure on it. It's at least six. So you got two in the engine, five in here, constantly being recycled through. I could be wrong. It could be six quarts, but I'm pretty sure it's five and two. Just constantly being recycled, recycled, recycled. Just going through, refilter, refilter. So let's go over here. The power of the oil guard. There it is. That's how many oil changes you're gonna do before I need to do one. You're gonna have to use those oil pliers and you gotta take off five oil things, put two quarts of oil in every time. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten quarts of oil before I have to put one filter and one five quart. So you're, you're spending five extra quarts and four extra filters. Now, granted, this filter was about 20 bucks. These filters are probably like, I don't know, anywhere from seven to 10 bucks. So think about that. Seven times five is 35, 20, there's 15. You're putting 10 extra quarts in. So you got two, four, six, eight, 10. You're putting five extra quarts of oil in. That's how much time. And that's not counting, that's not counting how much time it takes. That's not counting how much time it takes out of your day to do that. Now, this oil change here, look how simple this is, man. No tools required. Cut this, snip, turn, pull, turn the filter, pull it out, put that filter in, dump the oil right on top of it. Bada bing, bada boom. And you can buy... The Vanguard oil comes in a big jug, a five-gallon jug, a five-quart jug. So you can just pour that whole five-quart. Just listen, Ferris really did an awesome job with this. Briggs and Stratton, A-plus on this. I've had any issues out of this so far. So what a machine. The F210Z, a Plus, they did a great job on this. Now, are there some things on this that I don't like? Obviously, there is. Here's one. Look what it's covering when it's down. When I want to change heights, 
I actually have to pick this up and then move the pin if I want to put it out here. If they could have just slid this out a little bit more, all I'd have to do is was push this pedal down, pick it up and go like I can do on the 3200. But here, for whatever reason, it's just, you can't, you can't get it. That's something I don't like. As you see right here, they're pretty close to each other. Look, I bang, if I'm grabbing it, I can actually bang my hand on the deck lift coming up. It's got a slight bend to it. It's not like that on other Ferris's. I don't know why they did it. It's, it comes up and it kind of slants in a little bit. So when I'm putting this down or taking it up, I've noticed that if I have gloves on, my hand has caught here. So just something, I know it's petty, but you know me, I like to find things that I just don't like. And some, and I know Ferris is watching these videos. And so that's something that they can maybe change. Maybe put this more on the upright so that doesn't hit or you don't hit your hand. But other than that, I can't think of anything that flat free fronts, suspension seat, two, two nice springs underneath there, rubber bushings right underneath the frame to, to even cushion it even more. Is it, is it as good, is it, is it as good as ride as the springs? No. But in the lower speeds, guys, in the lower speeds, the only time I feel like it's, it's an issue is when you're going top speed, you're flying around the lawn. Then it gets a little bumpy. But in the lower speeds, I don't feel anything. This did not hurt me at all. My back was not sore. Uh, I, f I did not feel fatigued or tired. I don't know what they did to this mower or how they did it. But I'm telling you what. The F210 should be on your radar for buying. I mean, this mower is probably right around between 7,800. It lists for about 93 to 95. You can probably get this at the right time of the year under $8,000. Man, what a great backup mower. Plus, in, in the fall, I get to use it to do my leaves. I got the nice bagging system. Obviously, I have the accelerator. I did that all last year in the beginning of the spring. I just didn't feel like it was productive enough. This will be more productive. Uh, the most productive would be get another leaf kit. I'm not willing to go that route because I'm solo. When I used to have two trucks, the leaf kit on one, one truck, the employee would drive that truck, I would drive the truck and trailer. It was a little bit easier back then. Since I only have one truck, it's really hard to mount the um, leaf vac to the truck. So that's why we have the bagger on this particular mower and i already used it already utilized it twice last week i did two prune jobs i was able to blow it out into the lawn and bang hit it with that bada bing bada boom we're done what just guys i just like the mower it tracks so well this stripes it's easier to cut a straight line with this i don't know why uh, it just tracked really well just great job and look at this guys you gotta see this the stuff that's on this mower. First of all, we got the suspension seat with the two big seat, two big, the two big uh, springs. You have the oil guard system. You have a 28 EFI, plenty of power. You have the 5400 hydro gear pumps in here for under eight grand. Are you kidding me? Listen, go try to buy an X Mark with their biggest pumps, big engine suspension seat. You're looking at fifteen grand, fifteen thousand dollars for a six thousand to even come close to this machine. To even come close to it, that is amazing, guys. The F two one zero Z is the best kept secret out there. It is my new number one economical featured mower. This mower is filled with the twenty eight EFI oil guard. 5,400 pumps, suspension seat, flat freeze, two huge springs. Are you kidding me? All for under eight grand. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the steal of the century. Like, why would you even buy anything else? I mean, if you're looking for something economical, these guys are buying Hustler Raptors, they're buying Ferris 600s, they're buying Radiuses. This is, this is by far out of this world better than all of those mowers. Not even close. The only thing that I think would be, and it's not even close, is the 800 series because it has the 3,400 pumps. Think about that. I wouldn't even touch an 800 now. This is the, this is the go-to mower. 
especially if you're buying fleet and you have a bunch of employees built like a tank you can trust them with it. it's going to be hard to bust this mower up man it's going to be hard to bust this mower up and then the features i i would buy if i was a large company i'd buy three or four of these things that's exactly what i would do three or four of them guys that's my time hope you enjoyed this video if any questions about the ferris f210z put them down in the comments and i will get back to you i will try to comment back to you i really appreciate everyone who has um been supporting my channel channel of lately really appreciate you guys any questions let me know